And this killer camp, like, locked in with the Her Journals, y'all. Tap in. Rosetti. Click on this man, so what? Pass me the grabber, put him in a blunt. He ain't tough. Why you front? Back on my gun. Watch him run. She wanna love her, she know I can't cuff. She say killer, I can't get her love. Welcome to the Her Journal Podcast. I'm here with... Killer Kim. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Um, I'd like to give my guests their flowers of appreciation before I start off every interview. So, Kim, we go way back. My boy from middle school. Eagle Academy days. If you know, you know. No, you know, bro. Bro, nice, I feel like what? From like 2012 to like 2020? Yeah, bro. 2013, bro. Niggas got years in this shit, bro. That right. Eyes, and it's, I'm glad to see everybody doing shit for themselves, bro. And right. You feel me? Everybody in their own lane, bro. Just right. everybody being productive. That's love, bro. And uh, I'm ready to get this conversation started. Let's do it. Cam, um, before we start, you mind telling us where we at? I mean, we almost 7 6 in Clan, feel me? I done grew up over here, man. If you want, you can take a spin. We in the park right now. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know what I mean? I'm out here, man. There you go. I mean, bro, you feel me? The Bronx is. The Bronx is a low income, you feel me? It's tough out here. It's tough out here, bro. You just gotta. I feel like a lot of these sisters all the same, bro. Projects <laughs> or, or not, bro. You feel me? You just gotta. My main focus be making it out this shit, bro. Right. That us niggas don't want to be in the hood forever, bro. Right. That's all I ever think about making it out, bro. Right. I bet say that. Um. So with that being said, let's talk a little bit about the music. Talk to me about what are some of your early memories of music. Who were you listening to growing up? Who were some artists that inspired you to do what you do? I ain't gonna lie, Lil Wayne is dumb nice, bro. Mm. Lil Wayne is dumb nice. Like he might be the best rapper ever. Bro. What makes him the best rapper ever in your it's opinion? Just his wordplay, bro. The punchlines, bro. The swagger, bro. It's a lot of shit that goes into rap, bro. Like, like the energy is always there, bro. And and the versatility, bro. Nigga able to do. It. Rock beats, work with women, bro. Shit is, shit is amazing, bro. He's very talented. I gotta pay homage to the original Killer Cam. Cameron from Harlem, bro. Cameron Dipset, so I, tough. I, I couldn't call myself Killer Cam if, if I ain't pay homage, bro. Real shit. My, my mom always tried to get me to, to rock pink growing up. Mm. But, feel me? We Was he jacking it the back then? Nah, I ain't gonna lie. I'm still jacking, you heard? That nah. Still jacking. Pink is diff different. Like, real niggas wear pink. Niggas, I'm a real nigga, but I could be flying any color. I could be flying Magneta. <laughs> that ass, like. Niggas said Magneta. <laughs> that ass, though. Word, yeah. but. Nah, yeah, definitely Lil Wayne, Cameron. I ain't gonna lie, as a recent, though, I I, I want to pay homage to, to Sleepy Hollow, Chef G, and, and Elon Frost. I definitely feel like I resonate with their music just because they, nigga, they niggas that came from the slums just like me, I feel, and you feel me? Niggas is just on some humble shit and trying to get money. Niggas is down, and our niggas is up, bro. Right. And it just happens that fast, bro, you feel me? Like, yes, sir. Eyes. Free Chef G, and shout out them niggas. That eyes. Free Chef, free Sleepy. Um, before we get into our next question, um, a Lil Wayne track or album that stood out to you, and then also I'm gonna ask you that for, for camera. So let's go, Lil Wayne, for like any tracks that are a favorite of yours or any albums. I ain't gonna lie, Lil Wayne got Lil Wayne got too many bangers. <laughs> like, Lil Wayne really got mad bangers. I, I, and, and another thing with Lil Wayne, like he's still going, bro. Mm -hmm. That eyes, I, I know one song. John with Lil Wayne and Rick Rose, that shit is fire. The energy is just on that shit. Like that shit is there. I know with, with Cam, I, with, with Cam, I feel like my favorite song would just be the the Killer Cam intro. He got he just okay. got the sample in the back playing like Killer Cam. I, like that shit, <laughs> that shit resonated with me every time I hear that shit. I'm like nah, like you feel me? That shit make me want to get up in the morning. Like okay. like. Shit make me feel like that nigga, bro. That right. us. So I, I fuck with Kent, bro. I fuck with the swagger. That energy was definitely there, you know? Like, there you go. real shit, bro. Say that. Next question I want to get into. So talk to me about your early memories with music in terms of, like, when did you know that becoming an artist was something that you want to do? Like, when did you know that music was a passion that you had? I ain't gonna lie. Since I was younger, bro, like... I was dead, like the song will come out, bro, and I dead know the words like two days later, like mm. just in my head. You feel me? I just pick the shit up quick, bro. Like, and I, I dead used to write little poems and shit when I was younger, like, but I never really took this shit too serious, bro. I got older, bro. Niggas started rapping. I'm like, fuck it, I'ma get in a booth, bro. I got in for the first time with my son Ty Marcello. And mm, shout out Ty. Shout out Ty Marcello. Guys, bro, I tell him every day, like, he really the reason this shit happened, bro. Like, what was it about him rapping that got you interested? I ain't gonna lie, it was just like he brought me to the studio, and you know, it's like, 
Also, Diablo. I was there with Diablo. Wake shout, out first Diablo. shout out Diablo. Too. That, Diablo started like, the whole journal. If you know, you I know. I ain't gonna lie. He was my I, second guest. Yeah, it's like, like, Eagle Academy is really dumb, yeah. Like, right. But, yeah, man, like, I ain't gonna lie. Diablo's comfortability in the stool, bro, the way he was just punched in. Bro, that shit just, like, I was like, damn, bro, he's talented. Right. Like, I could tell he's been doing that shit for a while, bro, working with my son. And the fact that Ty even brought me to the stool, like, I got my first track out. Even the nigga that produced my shit, he, like... Yo, this is fire. What this your first song? Shout out Ben MCM. Okay. Shout, Shout out, out Ben MCM. Like that I see like yo, this your first time. Now we what 30 songs in? And that's in six months. That's fine. Niggas is going hard, bro. All I do is make music, bro. That right. eyes, this is what I enjoy. This is what I like doing, bro. This is why this shit don't feel like a chore, bro. Like right. I, I just get in the booth, go and get better, and I'm and I'm I'm talking, telling niggas how I feel in the music and niggas jacking it, niggas resonating with it. Like that's fire. Yeah. Let's talk about a couple of your first. You talk about for me the success that stemmed from Ty and you being around Diablo in the yeah, studio. But talking right. about what was that first studio session like for you? Like were you nervous? Were you confident? What was that first session like for you when you put the put on your headphones and started recording yeah bro like looking back at that session like i dead just ran at one time i feel like my first session was a one take i didn't take no breaks i was just trying to get the the whole 32 bars out mm. and it was fire i ain't gonna lie it was od fire but it was just like yo like looking back at that first session it's like that was in what that was in december now we uh, of in, last year that was in december of last year now wow. we in, now we in July, bro. Shit, it's been seven months now. You feel right. me? Like, it's just like I definitely see the progress, bro. Like, like the, the the work ethic is there, bro. You're gonna see it. You feel me? If you're, you're bound to get better at something you work at, bro. Right. You feel me? I just I just feel like I got more comfortable, bro. I started putting more energy in my music, shit like that, bro. Yeah, I bet. Talk to me about your first release. Your the first um song you dropped. Like, when did you know that? I mean, you knew that you was nice from the first session, but like, when did you know, like, when did you get that comfortability, like, okay, I'm going to drop my first track? And what, right. what, what, what was that track? Alright, I ain't going to lie. I, the first shit I, I officially put out on Apple Music was my Jersey King EP, which was, as, it was recent. Okay. And what made me want to put it out was that niggas been telling me for a while, yo, you got to start putting your music out there. But like, I'm like, nah, bro, I still can perfect this shit, bro. You feel me? I know I can do better, bro. And... Now, bro, I put that shit out, bro, and, and we we almost had 3K plays now. I'm like, damn, niggas is really listening. And the amount of niggas that tell me, like, yo, you tough, bro, don't add up to the 3K plays, you right. know? Like, so that shit is just like, I'm like, I'm like, I knew niggas was listening, bro, but I didn't know niggas was showing as much love as they was, bro. Once I put my little first project out, mm -hmm. it, that shit made me realize, like, all right, niggas is really listening, bro. You feel me? Like, so. Right. Stay consistent, bro. You feel me? I put a single out every week because I could do that, bro. Right, you right. feel me? Like, Say that. Yeah, bro. So just to confirm, was Jersey Kim, that was that project your first official release? Or that was, that was just... my first official release. Anything okay. Anything on SoundCloud, you know, that... I, I mean, I got shit on SoundCloud, you know, y'all niggas can rush that, too. <laughs> but, you feel me? Like, Jersey Kim was my first official EP, you know? Like, okay. I got two singles out, feel like that, nigga. And so what? Okay. Say that. So, Kim... Um, I wanted to know what was it about Jersey Cam? Like, what, like, so a lot of niggas, like, when they started with their music, they usually drop a couple singles, they fill out their audience, and then they start pushing out projects. But what was it about Jersey Cam, or what was it about, okay, the, my first official release is going to be a full length, pro, like, a, a full length EP? Like, yeah. what, 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 what led you to that decision? Well, those, those, those four songs, I feel like they all, they all went with each other, being like they had a Jersey beat, but every song had a different vibe. I feel mm -hmm. like Candy from Front was more like, like, like me being like that's me. Like she can't even fuck cause she know I'm that nigga. Like that eyes. Like that's that's exactly how I was feeling in that song. Fuck it was was a party vibe. Niggas jumping in the spot. You feel me? Fuck it. Turn me up in the function. Right. Like chill bill. Same shit. You know. Like like it, it, it's the the jersey. I, I gotta pay homage to the to the jersey. The Jersey drill movement, you know, they 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 beats is not regular beats. Right. It, it, it definitely like the the energy speaks to me. Like when I get in a booth and I play one of those beats, like I could just close my eyes and just, you know, like right. just bop with the shit. I got an energy with that shit. So that's what made me want to put out the Jersey Cam EP. I feel like all those songs really like that was real shit. I put in that album, bro. Right. I want to pay respect to Bad Man Real, yeah, Bad Man Real, because I know like before he was dropping anything. I didn't. I wasn't a believer. I was like New Jersey. Who the fuck coming out of New Jersey? I remember 
I'm gonna keep it a book. Like my brother, he showed me a band man real. So he's like, "Yo, this some niggas from Jersey that's, that's doing anything." I was like, "Yo, bro, who is this nigga? This shit not go fl- and it's not I'm not go not go go up." This nigga hitting mill after mill after mill, and now niggas is using nah, those bro, beats. I, ain't gonna, too, like, I was in tune fake early, bro, with with bro. I, I, I talk to you about Band Man Rose impact I, I, on you. I heard, I heard Ben Thoven, bro. I heard like like it's just the energy, like like <laughs> like mm-hmm. like you feel me? Like they got they got they got they definitely got energy in their music, like that's and that's that's me, bro. I got mad energy, bro. Like you feel me? Like like you feel me? When I get in the booth, like I could do that, bro. On my right. alibs, get people turned up. Niggas love. I love seeing people listen to my music and get turned. I'm like, yo, I'm just can't, bro. I'm doing this shit off the string for me. You feel right, me? right, like, right. Real shit, bro. Say that, and then also, um, we spoke a little bit about this before we started recording. Um, so I mean, you being a Bronx native, nah, yeah. a lot of times of recent, like of upcoming artists or artists that's dropping a first track, they usually tend towards the drill. You decided not to towards the Bronx drill. You decided not to go in that route. You decided to do the Jersey drill. What was the reason behind that? I ain't gonna lie, bro. I feel like I'm a very versatile artist, bro. But I also do just want to be myself. Mm-hmm. You feel me, bro? Like. I could, I could jump on the fucking Detroit beat. I, I do got a few Detroit tracks. Matter of fact, okay. those will probably never get dropped. Like, <laughs> just like, you feel me? like I, I'm just, I'm an artist, bro. You feel me? I just gotta. I, I even try to listen at different beats when I'm home, just to see, like, all right, what can I do? I want right. to step out of my lane, you know, like get used to shit I'm not doing. But I really wanna, I really see a vision for myself. But I really just wanna be an artist, bro. And, and like how Sleepy and Chef did it, bro. They really got their own flow, bro. Right. They dumb, bro. I just want to be me, bro. And niggas, niggas resonate with what I put in the music shit, bro. Okay. And, and that shit take me as far as I could go, bro. Say that shit. And that last question on the EP. What do you remember most about making the EP Jersey Kim? I ain't gonna lie, bro. It's crazy because I didn't even make the EP Jersey Kim. Like, that shit didn't happen at one day. That shit probably happened over a few months. Mm, like, those four songs. Me? Yeah, like, okay. you feel me? Like, the shit was in different sessions, like, but... I just knew what to put together because you feel me like it, it, it was just a vibe that that music gave you bro like like I feel like I feel like all it, it, certain tracks you talking about certain shit bro you feel me I feel like all that track was basically just introducing like yo I'm Cam this is this is how I live my life nigga we gonna we gonna get in the party we gonna get lit bro bitches gonna fuck with the music and the niggas is gonna fuck with the music right. and, and, I, and that's it I'm a young nigga bro I, I do this shit myself bro my pops passed bro you feel me? I just had to grow up early, bro, and, and do this shit myself, bro. Say that, say that. Me, you bring up your pops. We're gonna get into that um further down in the interview. With the, I know one thing I want to bring with the music. You just recently dropped so what uh, about uh, a little over a week ago? Mm-hmm. Talk to me about what should fans expect when they listen to that track, and what do you remember most about making that track? I ain't gonna lie. So what is, is that? Eyes what it what it is? Well, so what is the sample? <laughs> you feel me? Yeah, everybody know the so uh sample, Okay, okay, you okay. Feel me? Like, that's Feel me bump that it's a it's a so what vibe bro you feel me it's just just me flowing on the beat i just went in there you feel me gotta sometimes bro you just get in the booth bro you throw a beat on and you just flow with that shit bro you feel me whatever came out that night came out bro but <laughs> that shit was fire bro like so uh it, it was more of the vibe that made me want to put it out on that like okay. took some breaks on the beat so uh like that I so what like you feel me that's what made me want to drop it say that say that and then with that being said Jersey Cam is out, so what is out? Summer just started. What can we expect from you music wise for the rest of the summer and for the rest of 2022? I ain't gonna lie, this was definitely coming soon. I gotta yes, like, like I, I definitely people gotta see to believe. And you feel me? I know I'm that nigga. Niggas probably don't know I'm that nigga, but I'm gonna make niggas see that I'm that nigga because okay. you feel me? That it feel me, my I got a group of young lit niggas, bro. Humbly, like I got a group of young lit niggas that's doing good for themselves. You don't gotta be in the streets, bro. Niggas is just doing well, bro. That's enough for me. Right, I bet say that. So next question, want to get into? Um, if you want to show us your right bicep, gotta zoom in into the tattoo. I just preed it. So oh, yeah, definitely. I wrapped just the talk, talk, talk about your father a little bit. I ain't gonna lie, my father was definitely like he he was definitely my my biggest role model. If if it, it's no one I could top my father, bro. My pops. My pops, he definitely set the tone for me. This shit was bigger than just being a father for me. He wanted me to be successful as a man. You feel me? Like, so, he he done told me shit about real estate. He done told me shit about stocks. He done told me shit about cryptocurrencies, bro. Before before he passed away to COVID. You feel me? Like, so, 
it's like yo I, I like like basically what resonates with me every day bro is like i see the vision he had for me bro like you feel me he definitely gave me the in and outs of this shit and how to be a father he wanted me to be better than him and, and that nigga was great making one in 25 a year right you feel me like wasn't too bad <laughs> that that's good bro I could, yeah. I could do something with 125k a year you feel me but it's like fuck it you feel me like I just gotta do better. I just gotta, you feel me? Like I know he won't want me to do better than him, bro. So I'm right. gonna do better. I'm, I'm gonna put full, my my oil in this shit, bro. That's all you could do, bro. Just put your oil in this shit, bro. And and when you go hard, bro, it's like whatever the outcome is, you can't even be mad because you know you went hard deep down. You feel me? Like, right. So yeah, bro. I want people pops. You feel me? I'm doing this shit for I'm doing this shit for me, but I'm definitely doing this shit for bro. And bro is living through me because a lot of this shit. That he preached to me is now just secondhand nature. Like, you feel me? That shit just come natural, bro. Right. Real shit. Say that, say that. We're gonna leave it there. Our pity of pops. Um, and yeah, just just keep just keep carrying on his legacy, you feel me? You already yeah. Everything is for him. Say that. So um let's talk a little bit about for those that don't know, a lot of people call you Killer Cam, but I feel like your real stage name is Rosetti Cam. Nah, yeah. Talk to me about about the talk to me about the Rosetti part of it. I ain't gonna lie, Rosetti been a gosh, bro. If you know, you know. 2014 to 2016, everybody had a little name for their click, bro. Whether it was Margella, Kenzo, you feel me? Me and the guys had to figure out a name for us. Bro. I was on a Margella with. I ain't yeah, gonna lie. It's, listen, it's whatever, bro. Everybody <laughs> had their own little name, bro. You feel me? Like right. I ain't. You feel me? Like I just. I, we made our own shit. Everybody was Rosetti, bro, and that was enough, bro. You feel me? Like so, niggas made Rosetti and. Nah, niggas is just pushing that shit all away, bro. Everybody, all my Rosettis know what it is. Those been the guys since middle school, bro. Six grade, shit is deep, bro. We got years in this shit, bro. Love my guys, and that's my gang, and I stop. Say that, say that. Um, any, I always wanted to know, what does Rosetti actually mean? I ain't gonna lie, bro. We that, like, like, we never, we never really made no... No meaning for the shit, bro. Wow, like, okay. it was just like you feel me. Like everybody had their own little name. Okay, that was a, like, it's a cool spelling yeah, name, cool like, sounding like just, name. Like but... Rosetti, you feel me? I see that <laughs> shit in the islands with niggas. Wherever I go, niggas is jacking me. You feel uh, me? Like, that's swagged out. That and then, was, if you comfortable with sharing, who's a part of, of of the Rosettis? So we got a bunch of Rosettis. We got Rosetti Vaughn, Rosetti Mori, Rosetti Car, Rosetti Matt, Rosetti Sean, Rosetti Josh. Uh -huh. Feel me? It's, it's shout out to the gang. Mono. Shout out to the gang, bro. Everybody doing something for themselves, bro. Yes, feel me? I just seen Vernon the other day at Diddy Days. Like, every time I looked up, he was dunking. Like, every time I looked up, he was dunking. I'll pull out everything. My, my, my boys is going to pop up. They're they going to be like, oh, this nigga Rosetti too? Mm -hmm. Yeah, bro. Like, okay. everybody do something for themselves. They, I'm I'm rapping, but my, all, all my niggas is productive, bro. Everybody's doing something for themselves, bro. Right. That's what I, I love, bro. I cannot hang around a nigga that's not, that don't want to do nothing when I sit in the crib and smoke with you. That's right. not cool, bro. Get, get up off your eyes. Go get up back. Right. Like, come on, bro. For me, it's mad money to be made. We in New York City, bro. Real shit. Right. That's Right. I like to ask this question to all my guests to get a scoop of it. How they feeling? So, Cam, how's your mental health? Nah, I'm good, bro. That eyes, you feel me? Life is good, bro. Niggas is listening to the music, bro, and I'm really hoping that shit just take me to the top, bro. That eyes, I'm, I'm yeah. good, bro. You feel me? I'm just trying to figure out what my next five years gotta look like, bro. How, how nigga gonna get this money, bro? And you feel me? Right. We was talking about it before we started recording. You mind sharing? Feel me? What you plan on doing for the next five years in terms of like secondary incomes and other like trades that you get into? You mind telling the people nah, what you got I'm, going on? I, I do electrician work. I'm I'm in trade school for electrician, and I'm I'm planning on doing audio and video production just because the scene of New York City is is interesting to me, bro. And you feel me? You could really make it out in your town without without being a rapper. I I I'm okay with contributing, right? You know, to the to the the drill scene. Like, like, and not, I don't, like, I don't have to be in the scene for me to, to feel comfortable. Like, right. I wouldn't mind producing music. I wouldn't mind shooting videos. Like, like, cause at the end of the day, bro, we gotta be a city, bro. That's we, a gotta, we gotta be a whole, bro. That is, it, it, it takes a village, bro. Niggas could, niggas could really make more money working together than we would not being together. Niggas, it's, it's little shit that niggas is not doing cause they don't even know. Like, right. I, I'd, I'd help contribute, bro. I, if I know how to shoot music videos, then yeah, let's do it, nigga. Cause we gonna get lit together. Right. Feel me? Like, I don't, I don't gotta be a rapper that's beefing with you, bro. I'll right. Be, right. Nigga, you feel me? Niggas could get money, bro. Like, 
that's that's all that's my main thing getting money bro that's right. all that ever matters bro and then also with that being said like that all plays in a role into why drill is so successful like nah, yeah, okay bro. the song is lit but if niggas watch the video that shit's like, oh, the beat, oh, the, feel me, niggas produce yeah, it this way. Crazy, bro. Right, feel me? The interviews or whatever, like, this all, this all shit plays a role into, like, why yeah, this drill shit is lit, so feel me? There's other ways besides being a drop and this and this, like you said. Word, gangsta, that I bro. Say that. my boy. So with that being said, let's get into the quick hitters. Couple of life fun questions I want to ask you, get the inside of you. Yo, are you trying to, are you fucking up my shit? Never say that. I'm just looking. I'm in the interview. I'm looking. I'm looking. Say that. Say that. Say that. It's all good. It's all good. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. First question I want to get into. Feel me? Um, before the music, before this interview, we uh, met Eagle Academy. Yeah. Um, first question I want to get into. What's your most memorable moment, Eagle, that you could share on camera? Bro, <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. Eagle is a movie, bro. Eagle is a movie, bro. You just gotta, like, you gotta be there, bro. Every day is something new, bro. Mm -hmm. My niggas is that eyes funny, bro. Like, I can't even, I can't even pick a best memory, bro. <laughs> that eyes. You was there from 6th to 12th grade. 6th to 12th grade, bro. I really grew up. Eagle was all I know, bro. Right. Niggas done, niggas done molded me into what I am, bro. You heard, like, real shit. I bet, I bet. Next question I want to get into, let's go. Give me your music about Mount Rushmore, your four favorite artists of all time, plus honorable mentions. Oh, fuck, bro. <laughs> and I asked you the tough questions. Kanye is real. Lil Wayne is real. Uh-huh. So we got Kanye, we got Lil Wayne. Damn, boy. I dead, bro. I, I fuck with Drake, bro. Drake... Drake ain't a rapper, but Drake a rapper, bro. Right now, he's tough. Face, bro. He, so, he. Con so Kanye, Lil Wayne, Drake, and I would say Jay-Z, bro. Jay-Z? Jay-Z, bro. Why those four artists? I ain't gonna lie, bro. <laughs> Kanye and Jay-Z is probably the best duo of all time, bro. The, the way they work together, bro, it can't nobody compete with that shit, bro. Right. That is like... Uh, Lil Wayne, bro, his, his, like I said, bro, his energy, his punchlines, bro, it was just mad. It was mad energy and shit, bro. Definitely. Sure, like, and, and, and Drake, his, his, his versatility, like, is, is really, like, that shit, for me, is amazing, bro. Like, mm -hmm. like how he could sing and then rap and, and then, like, like, just give you a vibe, bro. You feel me? That shit cool to me, bro. I gotta nice. say that. And then, with that being said, <clears throat> any honorable mentions, anybody that's nice but just didn't make the top four? Young boy is nice, bro. Why does he get so much hate? Couldn't tell you <laughs> that ass because he's hip, bro. Because right. he's a real nigga. Like he's not gonna, he's not gonna tell you. He's not gonna tell you. He's not gonna do what the industry wants him to do, bro. He's not right. gonna be friends with these niggas. He don't wanna be friends with, bro. You feel me? He's just him, bro. He did this shit one deep, bro. And I, I you feel me, bro? He gonna stay with his niggas that he came with. I respect that to the to the fullest, bro. I don't right. know why niggas hate my son. Right, bro. Say that. Say that. Let's go. Um, your most memorable moment in the studio. Definitely. Um. I remember the track, bro. It's, it's called Lose My Breath. It's some shit that hasn't been released yet. Oh, wow. It's basically, bro, like that, that, that's, I remember that studio session, bro, and it, it was definitely an energy that came out of me that never came out before. I feel like before that song, I was just getting in a booth and just talking, like, right. getting in there just saying words, bro. You feel me? Like, I definitely brought my energy up on that track, and now, like, all the shit I've been dropping, bro, is music with my energy in it, bro. That, that music that represents me, bro. You right. feel me? Like, like all that other shit, I just feel like I just went in there talking, bro. It's definitely been like more my my energies is up there, bro. My ad lib is up there, bro. Mm -hmm. Like shit hard, bro. I fuck with my sound now, like so that's why I started dropping, bro. I really fuck with my sound now, like yeah. I feel like I can put that shit out there. I right, best say that. Hope that answer. We got a couple more questions. Let's go. Um, let's go. You you smoke, right? Yeah, I smoke. Say that. Say that. So. Some of your smoking pet peeves. If a nigga do this around Cam, they can't smoke them no more. <laughs> nah, I ain't gonna lie, don't wet the tip, bro. Like, like, everybody, <laughs> Pause. That, that, no homo, no homo, no more. Like, don't wet the tip, bro. That, I, I don't wanna, uh, I don't wanna burn the tip, bro. Nah, you can't, no, no, bro. Nah, bro. And, yeah, bro, that shit, bro. Just don't wet the tip, bro. <laughs> that shit. <laughs> Alright, man. No say that, say that. All right, bet. Let's go. If you could have dinner with any five people dead or alive, who would they be and why? Shit. I already know who the first one is. 
Yeah, for me, R.I.P. Pops, bro. Yeah, got to, got to. Would do anything to sit at the table with with my guy. Um, and it's like questions like these, bro. It's like, yo, bro, you don't really know. Like niggas get successful, bro, but you don't really know who gonna put you on the game, bro. You right. know, like I'm such an independent nigga, bro. Like. Like this is my genuine answer, bro. I'm like I'm such an independent nigga, bro. I, I really like doing shit by myself and figuring shit out by myself. Okay, bro. You I respect that. That's, that's when shit feel better, bro. I never really, I lost my pops, but I don't feel comfortable asking nobody for nothing, bro. You okay. feel me? Like I just, I just jumped in the field and figured this shit out. I feel like that's the the best thing about my story, bro. Like I just had to grow up quick, bro. That I, I really had to grow up, bro. Okay. Like, I bet you no more. I respect that. I respect that. Let's go. Um. Knowing what you know now, what would you tell the younger version of yourself? I ain't gonna lie, bro. I feel like everything just fell into place, bro. Like, that ass. I, I really like where I'm at, bro. But, um, shit, I don't even know. That ass. Alright. Uh -huh. But, damn, bro. Like, you feel me? Like, I, I feel like everything came into place, bro. I really like, I feel like I'm in a good place at life right now, bro. Okay. And, you feel me? I'm just making music, having fun with this shit, bro. I stay out the way, bro. You feel me? That's it, bro. That's all there is to this shit. You feel me? I bet. We got two more questions left. Let's go. Be yourself, bro. That's it. Stay yourself. Yes. I'm still myself. That's okay. why. You feel me? It's like, tell my, my younger self, like, you feel me? It ain't really shit to tell my younger self. I'm really still the same camp, bro. That as everybody know can, bro. You feel me? Like, right. Why do you feel like it's important to be yourself? I mean, we all know why, but yeah, like, in your bro, definition, like, why is it important to be yourself? Bro, it's like riding a nigga wave. Like, God, come on, bro. You really just got to do this shit yourself, bro. Because at the end of the day, and like, you, you, life is real, bro. Right. Life is real. Some people, I don't know if some people really understand that. But life, <laughs> life is real, bro. You're, like, in five years, you're, you're, your mother is going to want you to be on your own, bro. And you're going to have to do this shit yourself. Maybe quicker than that, bro. You feel me? Like, niggas just got to really lock in and figure out some shit to do for themselves, bro. That's not Right. You feel me like Say that Word Alright bro Um Cam Who do you want to see next On the Journal Podcast I ain't gonna lie I definitely want to see my son Ben MCM on here Okay Real talk He's a he's, He produced All 30 songs mm, All, all 30, 30 songs, songs That you've, that that you've I, created All 30 songs That I created Including the features, bro. Anytime I've ever stepped in the studio, I stepped in with my son Ben, bro. We make some fire, bro. And he really out here putting in work, bro. That eyes and, and niggas sleep, bro. Like my son Ben is nice with it, bro. So definitely tap in with Ben MCM, bro. My son is producing. He's going crazy, bro. He's going crazy. Bro. All right, Ben. Say no more, Ben. We gotta tap in. Bro, too, bro. Man, tap in with my boy Andy, bro. The hood, bro. That niggas know what you're doing, bro. Say that. Appreciate it. Right, Let's go. So, that being said, marks the end of the interview, but this is a talking shit segment. Anybody want to shout out? Ain't the one get up your chest? Nah, Record in 10 minutes, 30 people, they want to hear. Yo, Rosetti, man. It's Killer Camp. Like, that eyes. Tap in with the hood journals. That eyes. Yes, sir. Let's do it. Gang. Yes, sir. Appreciate you, my boy. Yeah, With that being said, Cam, thank you so much for this interview. Make sure y'all continue to support his music, support the EP. Jersey Cam just came out. My son is next up. You heard that. That's a wrap. Click on this man. So what? Pass me the grabber, put him in a blunt. He ain't tough. Why you front? Back on my gun. Watch him run. She wanna love her, she know I can't cuff. She said, kill her, I can't get enough. Said he told and I'ma call his bluff. Why you front? He got hit in his mouth. And I spend rosettes, my niggas be bugging. I'm with bigger, you know how we come in. And jack in my side, I think I'm up to something. Young nigga done came up from nothing. I'ma shoot like Kobe in the clutch. Boy, he just made 20 off a touch. They like, kill her, you be bugging.